Hey guys, uh, Lauren here. Uh, to everyone who came along for the journey of the ARG, uh, thanks for playing and welcome to my Instagram. So, this was the end of Ash Vlogs. At least I believe. As we were able to see, Lauren actually finally came out talking about the ARG in a very kind of short clip. She didn't really explain much. She just, I guess, thanked everybody for supporting her with this ARG. And honestly, I'm in shock, but I'm also like, okay, like at least it's kind of, you know, relieving just because a lot of people really thought this was real and a lot of people were really concerned about this. And it's honestly pretty good that now they came out saying that's an ARG so people won't worry that much. There's people sending me like, you know, DMs and comments saying that that I should call the police, that I'm stupid. And I was like, I, I, get, I got where they were coming from because obviously they did a very good job on making it look so real. So a lot of people believed it was real. And that's why I understood when people were telling me like, you should call the cops, I understood. But then again, I also really confidently knew that it wasn't real, that it was an ARG. Cause like I said before, Raka Raka was involved in this. I was like, Raka Raka makes skits like this all the time. And he makes him look so real. And I was like, this is what he does. So obviously I was like, coming from him, like he would have called the cops already. This would have been on the news. This would have been something big already if it was actually true. So that's why I really believe that it wasn't real. But there were some points when trust me, I was like, is this like real? Like I questioned it, but I knew that it wasn't. Then there was a video posted on a YouTube channel called Ash Vlogs. Hi Discord. Uh, I have been wanting to talk to you guys for a very long time. I have on and off been reading little bits and pieces of what you guys have been saying and I have found it very entertaining and crazy and fun and I just want to say that I really appreciate your guys engagement. It's been awesome. I hope you enjoyed playing. I really really do because that means a lot to me um, and I would love to chat with you guys at one stage if you are keen to chat. So thanks for playing. And it was a video of, um, I was gonna say Ash, but let's be real, it's Lauren already. Like, I don't know, I keep getting confused because I know her as Ash, even though I kind of know that her real name is Lauren. I just know her as Ash because the ARG was just like so big and obviously it was called Ash Vlogs. So she posted a video and she was like, hey Discord, and she was just thanking everybody for, I guess, the cooperation and stuff. And it's kind of weird because it's this is posted on a YouTube channel called Ash Vlogs and it has 5,000 subscribers. But I mean, it's very clear that that YouTube channel is not real and that someone made it. So I was kind of thinking where they got that video from, but I think they might have got it from... I remember Raka Raka talking about a Discord server. I guess like the main one where he was in and they kicked him out because I guess that he was being shady or something. So they kicked him out. So I think that's where this video came from, but like I, it's kind of it's crazy. So that means that Lauren was in that Discord server the whole time, and I guess she made a video for them, and I guess she was answering some of their questions, and that's pretty interesting. It would be very nice if I guess she did like a live doing a Q and A, since now she's letting people go on her Instagram and actually view her pictures. So it would be kind of interesting just asking her the whole process of making this ARG because. This wasn't a short little ARG, and it also wasn't like the sun vanished, the Greg Twitter story. It wasn't like that, because those are tweets and, you know, some videos. This was a lot of videos, a lot of makeup, a lot of work, a lot of different settings. So I would like to know, like, how they pulled that all off, like that live stream that went on for days. That was pretty crazy. And also, like, how much did it cost them to do all this? Because, obviously, this must have not been something easy to pull off. And I feel like that's why it took them a good amount of months. That's why I feel like once they posted one video, you know how they would go off for, like, a month or two? I think that's why that would happen. Because this wasn't just, like, a simple ARG that they put out, like, like you know, just randomly. 
it was something that they actually worked on hard and i don't know it was pretty cool like it would just be pretty cool seeing the whole process of it someone sent me um an instagram post of i guess who the makeup artist was for this whole thing and there you were, you were able to see the the people who were in this ARG, like Ash's brother and other characters, you could see them in the makeup studio. And I, like I said, like I don't know, it's like when I see these pictures, I'm still kind of mind blown. It's kind of like crazy to think that it's all over because this was something we were all a part of for such a long time. We followed this story like instantly when it came out like it was something like crazy and it's crazy to think that it's over and you know what's one thing that i learned from this is that you cannot believe everything the internet shows you you cannot believe it for example this whole arg like i'd said a lot of people believed it and obviously a lot of people believed it more because Raka Raka made it very clear in each one of his videos when he would post about Ash Vlogs, he would say, this is not a skit in front of all of them. So obviously a lot of people like use that and they're like, okay, this must be real. So that was one thing that really, you know, I guess tripped people out because they're like, okay, so this actually must be real. But at the, I feel like since the beginning of time when this first came out and Raka Raka said that he had, he had like a whole collab do, like that he was going to do with Ash. These messages lead to Ash vlogs. Do you guys remember Ash vlogs? I shouted her out a while ago. I was looking to collaborate with a small Adelaide YouTuber and picked her. But that she never showed and then he started receiving these weird texts or stuff from her. Instantly, I kind of knew that that was the collab that was the whole collab he was talking about that he was giving her but that she supposedly didn't show up that was the whole thing this whole arg was the collab with ash or lauren as i should say so since the beginning of time i kind of knew that and i feel like a lot of people did catch on to that but then like i said also with raka raka constantly saying this is not a skit in front of all his videos kind of threw people off and also how realistic everything looked like the whole store where they stabbed um the guy and there was like people around there they made it look so damn real and also the train when they stabbed the the i think lauren lauren's i mean not lauren's that's ash's brother that looked so damn real it's like so did they pay these places to let them shoot there like what happened like I want like I would want to know how much it cost them to do this whole ARG. But also the live stream, there was a lot of cameras, a lot of people that probably were hired to do this. So I don't know, this is all just a big kind of still a big mystery. Like I still want to know, like I said before how all of this was done. But this also like I had got a lot of messages telling me, "Oh, this this is not real." this is a whole movie and i kind of understood where they got this was a movie from but when they were sending me links to this imdb like site where it showed ash vlogs versus swerve i was like you gotta be kidding me that's the fakest thing you could ever see i mean if you were to even search it up a little bit swerve um i think they don't have too many subscribers but at least when i first found them when the whole ash thing was starting they didn't have too many subscribers but i don't know about now because when they were making the ash videos they were getting pretty a good amount of views so they probably grew a little bit more and are probably bigger at this point but when i saw that i was like you kind of really have to be careful what you believe like this ash vlogs versus swerve supposedly movie you go to the to the website and you see the um imdb thing and of course like you see it on there you're like oh this must be real nope it's not it's obviously fake the swerve channel obviously went onto the imdb made it an account and made this whole thing up so i don't know obviously it was fake and you could go to their channel and i guess they were trying to implement themselves into the arg i'm not sure because i didn't really watch their videos but I did watch one in the beginning of like 
a long time ago when it first started and they kind of did look like they were trying to implement themselves but i'm not sure but i mean kudos to them you know they're they're doing that grind they were trying to get them views and they did and they fooled a lot of people because a lot of people did think that they were a part of a home movie even though it was clearly fake you search up swerve you go onto the channel and i don't know you could kind of see that they're not really a part of this arg raka raka never mentioned them they never once came out in one of the ash vlogs creepy videos so you could kind of see that they weren't a part of it but a lot of people did believe so yeah i don't know this was just kind of a discussion and i kind of wanted to talk about what i thought about this whole arg and it coming to an end and it's still shocking i'm really gonna miss it because this was such a good arg i feel like one of the best hands down but i guess we still have the sun vanish we still have the greg twitter story we still have captor e if you guys haven't seen captor e i recommend you go see those videos if you loved the ash vlog series you're gonna love that one because it's creepy and it's mysterious and it's about a stalker and murderer too but it's like a whole different perspective it's like this murderer is taking videos from each i guess of its victims we still don't know because this is such like a a very also good arg that's on the internet and it's so mysterious that we don't know yet so yeah like and subscribe turn on post notifications and comment down below if you're gonna miss ash vlogs and give this video a thumbs up if you've really enjoyed the ash vlogs arg and if you're sad that it's over who knows like i said it might not be over but i'm pretty sure it kind of is because they already came out saying that it's an arg but who knows maybe they could still kind of continue it just because when you go on to the ash vlogs channel it's still as i know where she is so maybe they'll still continue it even though we know the truth but i, I honestly don't think they are but yeah this is the end of the video like and subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next video